I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw the savanna biome and an elephant in it. I come over here in the bottom left side and I draw my rectangle. Straight line, straight line, straight line, connect. On each corner I draw a little straight diagonal line. In between I'm going to draw a wavy wavy line, connect, wavy wavy line, connect, wavy wavy line, connect, wavy wavy line, connect. Inside, I'm going to write my biome, savanna. And there were many, many animals that I could have chosen, but I did the elephant because that's the most recognizable. Right next to this, I'm putting some straight lines, jump over, a little bit curved. Okay. I come right here in the center, one finger, and I put a dot. And from that dot, I'm going to draw a curve line to the left, come back to the dot, curve line to the right. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a little curve line up, big curve line out, wavy, wavy, wavy line up, and leave it floating. Come on the right-hand side. Curve line down, little curve line, curve line, curve line, bring it up and leave it floating. Come inside on the left, we're going to put a dot. And from that dot, we draw a little curve line out, little curve line in, little curve line down, little curve line, keep going, keep going out, over and leave it floating. Come back up here on the right, put a dot. We're going to draw a little curve line down, little curve line in, little curve line down, keep going, keep going, and connect. Come back over here on the left hand side and let's just add that little line connect. And we're going to take a big curve line down, Keep going, don't draw through your picture. Come over here, jump over, up, and connect right at the bottom. Curve line, curve line, curve line. Come on the right hand side. We're gonna come up a little bit right about here and we're gonna draw another curve line down, over, curve line over, up, connect. Down here at the bottom, one, two, three curved lines. Going up, we're going to draw curved lines. Going up, keep going, keep going. Right here, we're going to draw a curved line in, connect on the left, curved line in, connect on the right. Inside, we're going to draw baby circle, baby circle, and let's just fill it in a little bit at the top. Okay? Now, starting right about here, we're going to draw a straight diagonal out, curve line in, curve line up, connect. Come on the right hand side, <clears throat> excuse me, straight diagonal down, curve line in, curve line up, and connect. Now starting over here on the left hand side, I'm just going to draw a wavy, wavy, wavy line off the page. Come over here on the right and I'm going to draw another wavy, wavy line off the page, wavy line, connect. Now I can add some more slightly curved lines. Put some little lines down here, little lines down here. Okay, I think that's all. We're ready to color. Okay, the first thing I'm going to color is I'm going to take orange and I'm going to color this space orange. 
that says Savannah. This space going down, going across, and going up. All right. A biome is a large area of land or water that has a similar climate, plants, and animals. In the savanna, there was the black rhinoceros, there were gorillas, there were elephants, but I went ahead and chose the elephant. Now I'm taking my fat blue-green, my turquoise, and I'm just coloring in my background. And the thing about the savanna is that it's very dry, so I'm going to start off with just doing some yellow-green over here on my lines. That represents the desert, I mean the grass. And I'm going to fill in these bushes with a loop-de-loop. -loop. First of yellow-green, we're going to double color. Loop-de-loop. -loop. Then I come back in with my dark green. It can be very hot in the savanna biome, dusty, dry. All right, now for my elephant, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some orange. We're going to triple, double, maybe quadruple color. And wherever I have a line, a black line, I'll just put a little bit of orange. Not a lot. We're just starting to color. Then I'm going to take my apricot peach color and I'm just going to go over the white part just a little bit, not a lot. Just to add another layer of color. And then I take my brown. And I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop each space. So I start over here and I do this space and then I jump over and I do this space because it makes a difference when you color these spaces individually. Now I do the center part. If I just went and did it all the same way you wouldn't see as much of the definition of the animal. Then I come in and I do the right hand side on this side and I do the left hand side on this side. Then to kind of put it all together I'm going to take my gray loop-de-loop -loop, the edges the inside parts that I think need a little darkening. My easiest way to do this as I always say is just follow the black lines that you've already drawn but know that when you do this kind of work, you got to make sure you don't overdo it. You can't take color away. You can always add more, but it's very hard to take it away. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my elephant in my savanna biome. Okay, bye-bye.